What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Executor for Ranked Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Executor, this Pokemon is definitely a Gen 1 classic. Every time I play Generation 1 games and I do not pick Venusaur as my starter, I usually roll out with Executor on my team. Just such a dope Pokemon with a really good typing of Grass and Psychic. Now this executor over here is rocking chlorophyll as its ability to double its speed in the sunlight. It's also holding the life orb as item to make it do an insane amount of damage. Executor over here has Leap Storm, Expanded Force, Terror Blast, and Protect with the Fire Terror type. Like I said, very strong Pokemon. We're going to be putting it in the sun and in the Psychic Train pretty much in all the matches in today's video. Now, pairing up with the Executor, like I said, we got Psychic Train, which is Ndidi, and Sun, which is Ninetales, both great special attackers, and both can do a lot. Ndidi can imprison Trick Room, it can use Follow Me, it can also deal damage with Psychic, and then Ninetales can set the Sun, it can also use Solar Beam for big time coverage move damage, and it also has Will-O-Wisp if we want to deal with physical attackers and throw a burn on them. Now, our final three Pokemon on today's team features Murkrow, Sneasler, and Komo. -O. Komo -O is going to be a great special attacker with the choice specs as item. Murkrow doing Murkrow things, got Haze, Tailwind, Sunny Day, and Foul Play. And Sneasler, such a great physical attacker with Poison Touch and a clear amulet, and then a great move set of Close Combat, Dire Claw, Rock Slide, and Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Executor in Regulation Age. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first match, going up against an Ursaluna Trick Room Squad. Now, I could honestly just lead Ndidi and imprison this, and I kind of like that a lot, considering if they want to intimidate me or fake me out, Ndidi kind of stops a lot of that. So. Not a bad lead for us. They have Porygon 2, they got Ursaluna, Incineroar, Amoongus, Flamigo, and last but not least, they do have Golden Go. I think just going into these two is our play, right? Or I could lead Ninetales, set the sun, and then, you know, maybe force a fake out and waste out a turn. That's not a bad play. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go Executor and Ninetales here. I just think that's our best bet. I think that's a solid lead for us. So I'm going to go into both of them. I will bring in DD just to swap in. Um, honestly, maybe should I just lead in DD? Yeah, because I can always imprison. Yeah, yeah. And then we can swap in the sun if we want to. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys. Um, hmm. And then our final Pokemon. Should it be Sneasler? Or should it be Komo? -O? I think we're going to make it Komo. -O. I like it with the choice specs. It could just do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So, lead is going to be indeed executor. If they want to lead a Pokemon like, obviously, Porygon 2, their Trick Room Setter, we're just going to imprison it. If they want to lead Incineroar or anything else, we might just hard swap. Well, even Terrasilize. We'll, we'll see who they want to lead here because Incineroar kind of stops at the, the, the Psychic spam due to its dark typing, which could easily be one of their leads. Let's see. It's going to be P2 and Flamigo. Okay, I don't I don't mind that. I mean, Imprison Trick Room is probably my call. Maybe just protecting the executor is pro probably... My best bet. Because, I mean, Flamigo probably wants to most likely go for, like, a Brave Bird. So, again, I just think Protecting here is our play. And we could just Imprison Trick Room. I like it. I like it. Plus, we could see if they want to Thrasilize. Because there is a chance that Flamigo does Thrasilize. Let's see what you got, Flamigo. I love Flamigo. I think it's so cool. <laughs> it's just such, like, one of those derpy Pokemon. It's just like, dude, you can't hate it. You can't hate it. You really can't. So we're gonna protect our eggs. Lovely little eggs. Love this Pokemon. And they're gonna end up going for a Y guard to block Span of Force. Good thing we're just protecting. We're just we're just reading out the situation here. Imprison gonna pop. I'm gonna say no if you're popping tricking, which I, I think you are, right? Now you're going for ice beam. Okay. I, I don't I don't mind that. I do not mind that. Um Psychic's looking pretty good. I think we have to thrasilize you. I mean, if you go for wide guard, you go for wide guard. I'm just going to do this and psychic here. Definitely play. We're going to hit that terror button on executor. We're still going to go for an expanded force because there is a chance that, like, we already read out wide guard. There's a chance that he doesn't use it. I mean, and if you use it, use it. My, my indeed, he can do some nice damage over onto you, Flamigo. And we'll hit this terror button just in case. We obviously could have swapped into sunlight, which could work wonders. But it looks like he's ripping uh, Ice Beam, so that is something we gotta watch out for. We're just gonna change our Terror type, go into Fire. Make life simple for us. He's gonna drop a Close Combat, which we so-called day. 
Awesome. So big time so come out here. Executor should go first, which is really good for us. Because I should be able to take off Flamigo and Psychic should slide over to the Porygon too. So Expanded Force doing great damage onto Flamigo, taking it out. P2 taking a huge chunk of damage as well. And NTD should outspeed, which is just a beautiful sight to see. And Psychic now launches. Psychic KO? No. So another Expanded Force will KO, which is good. Special Defense does drop. P2 is just looking to rip an Ice Beam, which you should soak that as well. Awesome. Love you, Ndidi. Love you. No Freezy? No Freezy. All right. So who you got here? Maybe Incineroar? Incineroar would be annoying. I mean, I got nine tails to us, so I have a combo. -o. I feel like we would just have to target down that right slot. It's going to be Golden Go that comes out here. Um, I got Terra Blast. It's definitely going to be my fight. I just saw Terra Blast into Psychic, maybe. I could honestly just, like, swap you. Did you use your Terra type yet? I don't think they did. No, they didn't. They didn't. So, let's, let's just go into Terra Blast here. I could rip a follow me, but I could just go in the sun. Get that speed boost. Get all these boosts. Let's sack one window. We're just going to swap. Set the sun. Have Indeedy for later. The DD could be clutch, especially for like a follow me player too. So, let's see. But yo, look at that trainer's hat. If you guys didn't see it, scroll back a little bit. Trainer had a Flamigo hat. Big props to that trainer. Using Flamigo and rocking a Flamigo hat. Big props. Massive props to the opponent. When we swap in DD into Ninetales, we're going to get that sun. And we're going to proc that Chlorophyll Dublin Executor Speed. Terra Blast now gets a damage boost as well because we're in the sunlight. And Golden Go should most likely die out to this. Yep, bye-bye, Golden Go. Get it on out of here. See you later. That's a big-time KO. So Executor really thriving out here in match number one. Porygon's probably going to try to KO the Ndidi. So he's going to... No, he's going to go for a recover. Which I don't mind. Like, your special attack is... Or special defense is low. Lower. So I think an Expanded Force can really come close to KOing. And yeah, Ursuline is your final Pokemon. We're, we're, we're sending Expanded Force. We're sending it. We are sending it. So Expanded Force, send it. They still have Terra. Um, I could Solar Beam, Heat Wave. I could Weather Ball. And I think we, we are just going to Weather Ball and make sure that Porygon 2 dies out. Because that's really the main focus here is Porygon 2. The only way we would lose this match is if Porygon 2 is able to set up a Trick Room. Only way. That's the only way. So by doubling down with Weather Ball instead, and you're going to protect Ursula Luna, but by doubling down with Weather Ball instead of heat, heat Wave, we don't have to worry about missing, and everything works out perfectly. Plus, Expanded Force might just KO with this thing's special defense being minus one. Let's see. Yep, it does. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Get it on out of here. So we were just making sure Porygon 2 died. That was definitely the plan. Protect Ursula Luna, get Gus to trigger, and finally pull off a Trick Room, but nope. That's going to be a sweep. Gene's sweeping in match number one. Executor go nuclear here as well. Driving out in the sun with Terra Blast and Chlorophyll. Driving out outside the sun with the Psychic Surge. Everything's perfect. Now you could still Terrastalize, which is why we'll just probably stick with Expanded Force. And we'll go in with Solar Beam, but again, you're going to cancel this match. You don't. We're still going to win this one. So Expanded Force flies and brings you down to 1 HP. <laughs> it brings you down to 1. Solar Beam's going to finish this one off. Only needs one turn in the harsh sunlight. That's going to be game. So like I said, sweep in match number one. We went absolutely nuclear. Let's go hop through our second match. Looking to go back to back here in match number two. Going up against Hisuian Samurai. A really strong Pokemon. But more importantly, they do have Alolan Ninetales. Now, I do not want them setting up a War Veil. So I'm just going to have to bring in regular Ninetales. Or I could just go in with Murkrow. And maybe pop a Sunny Day and kind of play it that way. Because Tailwind could also be really nice. They have Wimscott. Wimscott could pop Trick Room. I could go into like my choice specs. Um... Komo, oh, that's not a bad play either. What would I like to do here? I feel like I got a lot of different options. Hmm. I feel like I got a lot of different options. I think we're going to go Murkrow here. I think we're not going to go in with the eggs combo. Actually, we could bring it in, in late game, which actually would probably be our best bet. So yeah, I'm going to go these two right off the rip. And then I'm just going to go Executor and Indeedee here. I think that's really good. I honestly could just go Sneasel, but I really like Executor with Ndidi. Obviously, the Expanded Force just goes nuclear, but we needed a Sunsetter, so I had to bring either Murkrow or Ninetales, and I chose Murkrow just because of a bunch of different reasons. One, it can just go into Tailwind, and two, Foul Play can still do some nice damage on some physical attackers, so I like it. I like it better than Ninetales here. Let's see. Plus, we don't have to swap out if we want to set weather. So Samurai and Wimscott comes out here. We got Murkrow. We got our lovely Komo'o. And from here, I mean, 
Tailwind's gotta be the play. We could thrash slice if we want to, but I think we just go Tailwind for Tailwind. And what do I even use here? I got a lot of different options. Aurora Spear would probably be our best bet. Never missing, and we can go after you. I could thrash slice if I want to into Dragon, but... Mm. Mm, do I want to? Not really. I'm just gonna go War Veil with a Tailwind. So we're definitely gonna need our Murkrow. They gotta have a little Night Tails in the back end, so I might want to swap my Murkrow after this. But I'm just gonna go right after this. This Samurott here. Maybe look to just KO it. Do we go Tailwind for Tailwind? We do not. No Tailwind comes out from him, and we don't even KO this Samurott, which honestly, honestly sucks. And Aqua Cutter just does an absurd amount of damage. I forgot. I'm not Evo Light. I'm Focus Ash. This thing pops a Trick Room. Mmm. That's bad news. That's rough news. Um, all right. So Trick Room's here. I have to play this one a little bit differently. Um, we're gonna go into it in DD here, and we're kind of just choosing to this. And I'm still just gonna launch it this way. We're swapping a Murkrow. We got. We gotta try to cancel that Trick Room within DD. We really do. We really do. So I'm going to save my Murkrow just for sunny day purposes later. The Sacred Sword is going to launch, which does respectable damage. Are you Moonblast here? They're going for beat up. That's fine. That's fine. Beat up does little damage. We will be able to get rid of the Samurott. And we kind of pose that threat with Komo. -O. Because the thing is, I want them to attack my Komo -O next turn. I really do. And the reason being is because I need Indeedee to soak up a shot and we need to cancel out this Trick Room. We need to cancel out this Trick Room. I could kind of just like follow me out and waste out the trick room normally but i just think we're better off canceling out the trick room right here but let's see they're gonna go into golden go so golden go comes out here scary man that is definitely a scary pokemon i got fairy terror which does not help us we're gonna pop trick room to cancel it out and if i can you know get off an aurora spear i, I will but i'd rather sacrifice my como -O. i'd rather just do that but we're gonna see a terror type this is gonna be steel terror can you double down into my we need to double down into my Como. -O. I really need Indeedy soaking the shot. It's the only way we have a shot at win this match because that trick from play was huge. So let's see. Misty Terrain comes out. You're going to get rid of the terrain. What's the point of that? Help out the eggs? Oh no, it's working. Make it rain's going to fly. Come on, Indeedy. I need you here. I need you here, Indeedy. Indeedy. I needed you there. Did you get a crit on me? I feel like you got a crit on me. No, you didn't. I need you there, Indeedy. I needed you. Psychic Seeds would have been so clutch there. But instead, we were rocking the... The what's it called? Instead, we were rocking the... Uh, I can't even think of the same. The Rocky Helmet. I got Murkrow out here. I got Executor. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Two? It's probably two, right? It's probably two. It is two. And there's really only one way of us winning this game. And that would be a sunny day double protect. Right? It would be a sunny day double protect. Let me just protect, me just protect here. We're going we're gonna to set the sun. They probably have a Lone Nine Tails as a late game Pokemon. To be honest with you. But I'm going to need a sunny day double protect. And then look to Terrasalize and win this game. Make it rain flies. Your mind's two now. Hmm. What's the play here? Do I pop expanded force? Thinking that they might swap. I think I should attack here instead of just go for a protect. I think I should just trash slice and attack. You could be choice spec as well. You're doing an absurd amount of damage, but he's minus two. That one's finally gone. One more turn left in trick room. We're going to Terrasalize, and I think I'm just going to look to Terra Blast you down. Yeah, I'm just going to look to Terra Blast to slot down. He's going to withdraw. Are you going into Ninetales? It's got to be Ninetales. It has got to be Ninetales, so honestly, Expanded Force would have been the play here. It is Ninetales. So, Sun's gone. Um... The fire terror is looking really good. Hold up. I mean, the thing is about expanded forces, we don't have the terrain. It's just misty terrain. So, honestly, terror blast just might be our best option all around. It's super effective into all of them. 
The real question is just how much damage is Executor doing? It's Life Orb. Life Orb Tire Boost it. Let's see. It KOs you. Alright, I'll take that. It KOs you. We don't have terrain. Um, even though the Misty terrain looks exactly very similar, I should say, to the other terrain. Beat up's gonna fly. But it seems like you don't have much hitting moves here. Now your best bet is to just set up a Tailwind. And attack with like Shadow Ball. Because it seems like your choice, right? It definitely seems like your choice. I'm hoping you don't have Moonblast. I'm really hoping you don't have Moonblast. Because we've seen your moves so far. It's Trick Room. Beat Up. Misty Terrain. And I think the last one has got to be Tailwind, correct? It has got to be Tailwind. I think beat up's your only hitting move, so I'm just gonna terror blast this gold to go. Maybe look to KO this bad boy. Yeah, okay, so your only attacking move is beat up. So we're just gonna keep targeting down the slot. We have to KO this Pokemon here. Power gem. You got power gem. Might got power gem. Your choice spec. Good game. Thanks for playing. Really power gem. I was hoping Shadow Ball, and I was just like, maybe we can eat up a Shadow Ball choice spec. But nope, you got power gem. GG's. Solid match right there. So one and one to get things started. Let's go hop into our third. So guys, we're sitting one and one. Would love to grab you guys a winning record. That last match came down to the wire. Of course, he had Power Gem take out my Executor, and we were so close to winning that one. Considering Winscott couldn't really do any damage to us, especially with Beat Up, it was doing about like negative six. It was hitting me like a paper towel. But again, third and final match on Sway, going up against Magmar with Bex Caliber, Sneasler, King Gambo, Primarina, and Male and Didi. So that thing's ready to hit. It's ready to use Expanded Force. It's ready to deal a lot of damage now. First thing I notice when I look at this team is I could just go into Executor and Ninetales. I could honestly just go into both of them, which could be pretty good for us. Could be pretty good. Actually, I'd rather go into Indeedee and Executor and maybe just like swap into Ninetales and get that weather. I think that could be awesome. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to end up leading Indeedee, Executor alongside with Ninetales. And last but not least, do we want the Sneezy? You want the Sneezy or the Konamo? That's the, that's the real question. Konamo is not bad with the choice specs. Sneezy are really fast though, which is beautiful for us. Hmm. Konamo 150 speed. That's not faster than Sneezy though. I think I just want a speedy attacker, so I think I'd rather go into Sneezy or late game. Yeah, I mean Dire Call, all that good stuff. Close combat. We're going in with the Sneezy. We're going in with the Sneezy, especially because Primarina is just such a big threat. I'd rather have a poison move on standby. Always works well. Seems to work well against this fairy type's dire claw. But I like our lead here. I do like our lead. And I like that trainer card. Just a bunch of wheezings. <laughs> Galarian wheezing, regular wheezing, you name it. They all have that derpy looking face on them, which is so funny. But they end up going Magmar alongside with Sneasler. Magmar and Sneasler. Um, this just seems like a free follow me expanded force kind of play. I don't even have to terrestrialize. Can't fake me out. You're gonna go in with unburdened seeds. That's 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 cool with me. That's cool with me. I like this. So yeah, we're just gonna go follow me. We're just gonna go expand a force plate. Simple. It's a simple play here. It's a simple play. You could have dark terror type. You could. That is something could get real scary real quick. Um, we're just gonna protect the sneezy. So he protects the sneezy. Um, what's Magma gonna do? Throw burn maybe. What you got? What you got for me, Magmar? Lava Plume. He's pluming. Luckily, no suns out here. How much damage is Lava Plume doing? Okay, I can, I can, I can deal with that. Standard Force launches. Half damage. So we need to outspeed this Magmar. I'm actually super surprised that you actually outspeed me, and I'm really hoping. Executor, can you outspeed with Chlorophyll? I don't think you can. That's the real problem here. Hmm. I'm just gonna protect my eggs. I could honestly just went into a fire terror. Play it simple. But this works fine. So he's gonna swap. Sneeze or save it for later. We're gonna throw a psychic in this slot. And who's going into? I'm going to Baxcalper, so Baxcalper's going to be the one taking the Psychic. Probably another Lava Plume is going to fly here, and I th think after this we could just go into Fire Terror and swap. Actually, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even have to go into Fire Terror. We would now outspeed all their Pokemon, so that's good news for us. So Lava Plume flies us a little bit of damage, gets that Thermal Exchange boost. And Psychic, how much damage are you doing here? That's the real question. 
Not bad damage. Not bad, especially with a special defense drop. I really do think our play is now to just swap into Nine Tails. Get that speed going and then just expand the force. And hope to just KO both of these guys. And I think we can. Executor's hitting hard. This executor's hitting hard. Could have a first turn priority move with Ice Shard. Maybe I should have Thrasslash. Thought about that. That could be devastating. That could be devastating. Actually, you can't use first turn priority moves. Thank you, Terrain. Thank you, Terrain. But Drought comes out here. We now outspeed Magmar. Magmar's dead. Backsalver? Dead. Awesome. It's a great turn for us. It's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. Now he's forced to bring back out Sneasler. Sneasler does have Unburden. It is going to outspeed my Executor still. Um, and I think it's time for our Ninetales just to launch attacks, right? We still have Sneasler of our own, which is good. Which is really good. So let's see. They go King Gambit. That's fine by me. And they end up going into Sneasler. I mean, Heat Wave got to be my player. I could Terrasalize Fire. Do I want to Terrasalize Fire? Yeah, I actually think this Heat Wave is just a lot of damage. Or I could save our Terror type. I mean, I got Sneasler late game. Sneasler has Dark. Now nah, I'm cool. I'm cool with just going into Heat Wave here. Fire Terror. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. So I'm going to go Fire Terror. And if they let me use this, I'd rather use Expanded Force just to chip up the Sneasler here. But we know Sneezler's not Sash, which is really good. Which is really good for us. So, coming down to the wire here. Use our Terror type on our lovely little Ninetales just for damage boost. Heat Wave. I got a lot of faith in you to land, man. I don't need RNG screwing me over here. I really don't. Not now. They're going to Terrasalize as well. Is this going to be King Gambit? It's got to be King Gambit. Maybe Dark type King Gambit? Dragon. So, Expanded Force is going to hit that thing if they don't take out my Executor. Expanding Force is going to hit up on him. He ends up protecting the Sneasler. Not a bad call. And Executor outspeeds the King Gambit now. Alright, cool. Cool. I'll take this damage all day into that slot. Free Expanding Force damage into the King Gambit. Oh my lord, that's some damage. Nine Tails, you outspeed, don't you? Nine Tails, all, all you gotta do is land it. All you gotta do is land it. All you gotta do is land it. It's simple. It's simple. Let's go, Nine Tails. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I was thinking of going into Protect with Executor. I think they thought the same thing. But we just chose to attack and it worked out perfectly. So simple play is usually when you guys Pokemon battles. Always remember that. Especially if you're not in like the top like 1,000 players in the, in the Master Tier. Most of the time, the simple plays are going to win, win you the match. But from here, we can just go not Heat Wave. Don't want to use that. I'd rather use Weather Ball. And Expand of Force. And chances are they cancel? Yep, they canceled. So 2-1 for today's video. We grab ourselves yet another winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Executor in Regulation H. This Pokemon was phenomenal. I feel like any Pokemon with Expanded Force in the Psychic Terrain is always good in this format. It is just so strong. Executor killed it today with a Life Orb. Chlorophyll pair up with Ninetales. And then a Fire Terror type, which was actually clutch in many different situations. So I did like that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.